In this video, let us uh, solve problems based on complex numbers. All right, here we've got a problem which reads uh, like this. It says express the following in the form a plus ib. And we have here minus 5i times 1 by 8i. All right, so what you have to do is just multiply this. So you get minus 5 by 8, i times i is i squared. And if you do recall from the previous videos, i squared is nothing but negative 1. So we have minus 5 by 8 times negative 1, which is equal to 5 by 8. But it doesn't stop here. It says write it in the form a plus ib. Although, you know, you don't have an i or a b, you just write it in the form of a plus ib. So you write it like 5 by 8, which is a plus ib. When you actually write a complex number, you write the number first and then the i. So the number in the imaginary part is nothing. So write it as 0, so 0 times i. So by writing this, this doesn't really change the meaning of 5 by 8. Uh, we're just representing it in the form of a complex number. That's all. It still means 5 by 8. All right. So that ends this problem. Let's quickly solve another problem. All right, here we've got the other problem, which says, uh, again, express the following in the form of a plus ib. So it is minus i times 2i times minus 1 by 8i, the whole cube. All right, so we have minus i times 2i, which is nothing but minus 2i squared. And then we have minus 1 by 8i, the whole cube, which is nothing but. So the negative cube is negative. Negative times negative is positive, and positive times negative is negative. And i cube is i cube divided by 8 cube is nothing but 8 times 8 is 64. 64 times 8 is uh, 512. All right. So here we have further solving it. We have um, 2 goes 256 times in 512. And we have negative times negative becoming positive. And i square times i cube is i to the power 5. So it is i to the power 5 divided by 256. All right, so now if you remember from the previous videos how to solve i to the power of something that is greater than 4, you need to divide that exponent by 4. So in this case, it is 5. So divide 5 by 4. You have 4 times 1 is 4. The remainder is 1. So the remainder replaces the exponent. So we get i divided by 256. All right, this is the answer, but you have to write it in the form of a plus ib. So now a is a zero. We do not have anything for a. So write it zero plus one divided by 256 times i. So this is the answer required for this problem. I mean, which has to be expressed in the form of a plus ib. All right. So yeah, so that ends these set of problems as well as this video. I'll see you in the forthcoming videos with more problems based on complex numbers.